In the lawless frontier of the Wild West, a man's reputation was often measured by the number of guns he had faced and survived. But there was one man who defied all odds, a man who turned a snore into a showdown, and his name was John Wesley Hardin. His sleep apnea was a source of endless ridicule, but little did anyone know, it would also be his ticket to infamy. In this video, discover the true story of how Hardin's snore became a deadly weapon and how his unlikely talent for trouble became the stuff of legend. John Wesley Hardin is one of the few figures in the history of the American Wild West who stands out as both a prominent and mysterious figure. Hardin was one of the most known and feared gunslingers of his time. He was born in Bonham, Texas on May 26, 1853. His life was a tumultuous journey that encompassed the lawless brutality and intricate socio-political dynamics of the era. His life was a journey that he took throughout his entire lifetime. The episode that has come to represent his daring and cunning is the story of how he converted a seemingly harmless snore into a lethal showdown. This incident is at the center of his legend, and it has become a symbol of his bravado and cunning, early life and influences, the chaotic period that followed the end of the Civil War, a time that had a major effect on the social landscape of the South, was an integral part of John Wesley Hardin's formative years. Hardin's upbringing bore the obvious traces of the war's aftermath due to the fact that he was born into such a violent setting. The conflict inflicted not only physical wounds but also psychological scars, which left a lasting imprint on the young boy's perception of the world. Hardin was raised in a home that had strong feelings of loyalty to the Confederacy, and as a result, he was exposed to a culture that not only normalized, but also condoned the use of physical force as a means of expressing one's ideas and establishing one's identity. The war's legacy had resulted in the creation of a society in which the lines separating good and wrong, as well as law and disorder, were hazy and open to interpretation. It was against the backdrop of these circumstances that Hardin's character started to take form. Hardin's disposition was inexorably shaped by the conditions that prevailed throughout his development into adulthood. As a result of his early experiences with aggressive behavior, he came to view conflict and hostility as natural components of his surroundings. He had the power to convince those around him thanks to his sharp intellect and natural skill for persuasion, a trait that would later prove to be important in both his rise to prominence and his fleeting moments of glory. In spite of the fact that he was intelligent, Hardin was frequently led astray by his proclivities, which drew him toward mischief and the disobedience of cultural standards. Even when he was young, he had a penchant for getting into mischief, which was an early indicator of the course he would ultimately take in life. His infatuation with weaponry, which was formed from the culture of violence that permeated the environment, further strengthened his connection to a world in which disagreements were frequently settled by the use of force as opposed to conversation. Hardin's ultimate rise to notoriety was catalyzed by the confluence of several factors, including his innate intelligence, his persuasive abilities, and his obsession with firearms. As he grew into a young man, the course of his life became increasingly apparent. It was a path that would eventually catapult him into the public eye, bringing him both notoriety and recognition. The Occurrence When a Snore Becomes a Showdown during the early hours of his 21st birthday on May 26, 1874, an incident occurred that would forever cement Hardin's reputation as a deadly gunslinger. This event occurred in the early hours of the day. In order to commemorate the special event, Hardin and a large number of his close friends had congregated at the American House Hotel, located in the center of Comanche, Texas. As the evening carried on and people continued to drink freely, tensions between Hardin and another customer, called Charles Webb, grew to a boiling point. The noisy celebrations were interrupted by Webb's loud snoring, which was both an odd and seemingly insignificant turn of events. An angry Hardin went up to Webb and ordered that he stop snoring, which resulted in a violent exchange of words between the two of them. It is possible that what started out as a little quarrel grew into a full-blown confrontation because neither man was willing to back down. 
During the heated exchange of words, it became clear that Hardin possesses an extraordinary capacity to exploit any given circumstance. He provoked Webb by publicly disparaging him and calling into question his level of manhood. The back and forth argument continued until it reached a crescendo, at which point the environment grew tense with the anticipation of physical conflict. Hardin's hand involuntarily slid toward the revolver that was holstered at his side as the intensity of the conflict reached its peak. In a fraction of a second, the room went from being a rowdy birthday celebration to a scene of approaching death. When compared to Webb's clumsy attempts to draw his own weapon, Hardin's actions were smooth and practiced, making for a striking contrast between the two. As the two men squared off against one another, their eyes locked in a lethal duel of wills, the room as a whole held its breath in suspense. In what seemed like the blink of an eye, Hardin's gun went off, and the deafening report broke the peace and quiet of the night. After taking a direct hit to the chest from the bullet, Webb collapsed to the ground, terminally injured. As the dramatic conclusion of the showdown arrived, there was a startled quiet as everyone began to process what had just taken place in the showdown. The daring move that Hardin had made had not only resulted in the loss of life, but it had also cemented his reputation as a gunslinger who could turn even the most routine of situations into a confrontation that may result in death, legacy, and repercussions. The event that took place at the American House Hotel would turn out to be a defining point in the turbulent life of John Wesley Hardin. Even though it was far from being his first act of violence, there is no doubt that it was one of the most dramatic and representative of his ability to maneuver a situation to his advantage. After this moment, Hardin's reputation as a vicious gunslinger would only continue to grow as tales of his exploits traveled throughout the region and even further beyond. The life of Hardin was a complicated tapestry that was weaved with strands of brazenness, cunning, and violent acts. His ability to navigate the perilous waters of the Wild West with a lethal combination of knowledge and ruthlessness put him apart from his contemporaries. His skill in navigating the treacherous terrain of the Wild West set him apart. His reputation, despite being tainted by his participation in illegal actions, continues to captivate and intrigue historians, Western scholars, and fans of the Old West. By analyzing the situation with the snore that escalated into a showdown, one can acquire an understanding of the mind of a man who flourished in a setting that was characterized by anarchy and lack of order. The narrative of Hardin is a monument to the paradoxes that exist inside human nature, where the line between hero and villain, as well as audacity and recklessness, is frequently unclear. The life of John Wesley Hardin and the incident of the snore turned showdown reflects the essence of the American Wild West. This was a time and place in which the only way to survive often was to embrace violence, and where the ability to manipulate a situation could mean the difference between life and death. Hardin's bold conduct on his 21st birthday serves as a microcosm of his larger-than-life existence, a life that remains engraved in the annals of history as a monument to the complicated and often conflicting character of the human spirit. Hardin's life remains etched in history as a testament to the intricate, and sometimes conflicting facets of the human spirit. What do you think of the video? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.